Oh, I just hate my engine cells. Yeah. Hmm, they're just so, uh, so poopy. Oh, sh 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 Shush, my child. Don't be scared. Don't feel sad anymore. Or your Lord Chalk will show you the way. I am taking the time to show all of you how to design and create your very own awesome looking thruster. None of that blocky shit. Blocky shit? Out of here. Bye bye. Bye. After this video, you will know how to create the best looking thrusters ever. Let's check this shit out. Ah, so we are back. Here we are in Space Engineers with a very, very, very basic ship. We are going to add to it. And what I mean by that is this is the uh, style of ship that we have. So what you kind of want to do with your engines is um, make the design flow with the actual um, aesthetic of your ship. So what we have right here is just a very simple uh, green tugboat looking thing. So it's got these two bumpers on the front, which are just wheels. They're very durable. Um, uh, I was going to add, I, I could obviously just add like a landing gear here so it could actually hook up and everything. But what we're going to do is try and hook up different engines and see what looks best for this very, very simple uh, little Corvette freighter tugboat, whatever you want to call it. It's probably a Corvette class. It's very small. And we're going to have just a look at what we can do to add some engines. So before we get into it, into too much detail and uh, start looking at the engines, I want to make something very clear. If you want your ship to look good, I would strongly, strongly suggest picking a color scheme. Now, you can have elaborate color schemes. You could have up to 10 different colors, but I like to keep it fairly simple in terms of colors. As you can see on the tugboat, we have a base color, which is pretty much the frame uh, the inter the inside of the ship and basically the what the basic ships and frame of the ship are going to be and that is this light gray which is uh, the with the clean armor the other color we have is this olive green which I've used uh, battered armor on and we're using this green as you know the base color of the ship so what the armor points will have and uh, just another color um, if you were to choose this faction their faction would probably be green as well as the components which is this yellow color now I really like to make the components of the ship stand out from the rest of the ship rather than all blend together that way you can you know find the components and easily get at them and clearly set, tell that this color is where all the systems are you don't have to do that with everything obviously if you have exponents obviously if you have components that are exposed you can color them the same color as your base ship and i just took these colors and expanded on it so i added this yellow ribbon all the way around which is the same color as the components just to add a little more detail and already you know it's not much but it adds just kind of a little more to the ship and obviously we could smooth out the armor a little more maybe um make these divots a little in depth but we're not here to look at the ship i just want to make it clear that it's very important to figure out a color coast code for your ship and the rest of its design it plays a very big part in making your engines and thrusters look good in my opinion so in front of us we have the three different kinds of thrusters we have atmospheric ion and hydrogen so this ship can hold any of these and it should be able to power any of them as well um i'll we'll dive into how we can the atmospheric thruster look good but obviously we can't really test the flight in space i could bring it down to the planet but we'll see if we get that far the ion obviously we can place the ion engine in anywhere and the hydrogen engine we can we have to hook it up here so let's get started, shall we? Now, obviously, you could take any of these thrusters and place it on the ship. It would look fine. The ship is small enough, and honestly, with the DLC that I have, the thrusters already look good. But sometimes you want to add a little more shape, a little more armor, perhaps, to your engines, but you don't know how. 
So the first style of engine that I like to kind of experiment with to see if it will look good on my ship is a frame design. So uh, I'll show you what that looks like right now. All right, so this is what we have so far uh, for the first style. Now, building this, um, I realized that uh, I, because essentially these are going to be offset uh, cells. So like one on one side of the ship and one on the other side of the ship. And then I realized I didn't mirror it. So I only have the left side thrusters that I built. So if I were to make uh, thrust on the other side. I'd have to rebuild it, and I'm just, I'm not gonna do it for uh, this this style uh, of engine. So as you can see, there it's very blocky and it looks kind of strange. But you can see where your creative skills can uh, really help you in this. So using other blocks like catwalks, vents, passageways um, can really help bring out different areas of your thruster cells essentially so with the hydrogen thrusters i went for a very bulky design so it's like this massive um uh, thruster area and it's so large in fact that you can actually walk around and that's what this catwalk would be for so Obviously you can't get to every corner of the ship, but you could like stand on it. It's just some more area, you know, you could look and uh, look around at the ship. And if I paste it onto my vessel, paste it right there, you can see how you could hook that up onto this little tugboat. So when pasting on the ion thruster, you'll notice that it's a lot thinner. It's a lot slimmer and sleeker. Um, but it's still got those exposed components and it has a gradual kind of angle. It's obviously not an angle, but as you can see, it's like, it starts from like, uh, this level of brick, then it has a slant, then it's a full block and then it comes down to a half slab and then it comes down to this big thruster right on the back. And that's where all the power kind of like leads to doesn't have to be hooked up so that's kind of a neat part about it as well as you could probably take this 
place it here. I could probably paste another one right there. And I would have, I could make this a, a quad thruster ship. While well, these being on the in closer, or I could make a long pole sticking out the side and, and then have the thrusters on that. And because it doesn't need to be hooked up, it would be totally fine for the ship and not interfere with any of the components. That's kind of the plus side of using ion. Sure, it may not be fast enough uh, compared to hydrogen, but you don't have to worry about an extra resource and you don't have to worry about connecting it up to anything. Now, lastly, we have the atmospheric engine. With atm atmospheric thruster cells, I like to kind of keep them mostly open. Again, with a ship this size, you could keep these as open as you want or as concealed as you want. All right, now I know what you're thinking. You're like, Mr. Chargers, come on. At a frame on a thruster, you can do much better than that. And to that, I say yes. Yes, I can. That was just to give you an idea of what simplicities of armor pieces you can put on a thruster if you so choose. What we're going to do now is make specifically armored thrusters. And in this one, I will make a mirrored side to each thruster to put it on to the side of the ship as well as I was, I'm going to make different orientations of thrusters. So I'm going to make thruster cells. The hydrogen thruster cell will be able to fit on the side of the ship. Ion thruster, I'm going to design to look like it fits in a column. So you can, it's basically going to be another attachment onto the back of the ship. So it will look like it's a part of the ship, but not really. You'll see what I mean. And the atmospheric thruster will be two thrusters on the front of the ship with little arms sticking out the side. When we're done, this ship should be fully amphibious and be able to go from down to a planet and back up. But pay close attention when I'm building these thrusters to notice how I color these thrusters. This is what I said at the start, and this is going to come in handy. This will make the thrusters look a lot better than what I previously made. And with a ship this size, you really don't need massive thrusters uh, like I have here out in front. So this is just the example placement of where I put them. But when I actually start building it, the thrusters may not be, well, the large one. You will see. So I hope you enjoy this. And uh, Chonky Army, write down some notes. You're going to need some notes. But my real soldiers, remember what I say.
Well, so yeah, I guess that's my uh, little tugboat. So I hope you all learned something from this. I hope you uh, gained some knowledge from your Lord Chalkers. And if you have no idea what I'm talking about, well, <laughs> you'd know if you checked out my other videos. Mm -hmm. Do you want to be a part of the Chalk Army or not? <laughs> Ask any of the generals. These people? Any of these people? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, what's that? Oh, what is that? Oh, well, that's only the best thing in the world. This is the subscriber wall. Yeah. The first 100 got on here, and now they're the rank of general. Wow. That's crazy. If only there was something special for the first 1,000. Oh, wait, there is. There is something special. We just have to get there to 1,000 subscribers. Discord server? Hmm, perhaps? Yeah. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed uh, watching me fiddle around with engines, and I, ho I really do hope you learned something. Uh, as you can tell from the look of it, it looks like these engines were meant to be on there. Now, please be mindful that when making thrusters for a ship, they're not always going to be nacelles. For instance, my Basilisk class frigate. If you don't know what that is, check out that video. But the engine essentially is a part of the back. But that's all I have for this video. If you enjoyed, please consider leaving a like and subscribing. If you're not already, become part of this chunk empire. I'm crazy. I'm quirky. <laughs> so quirky. But most importantly, I'm chonky. That's all I have for today. Thank you all so much for joining me in this episode. Design a starship. Now, as always, stay safe, stay healthy, stay clean, stay chonk. Chonkers out.